Good morning guys, Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's a very early morning right now. It's currently 10 past seven in the morning and we're here to get the day started with cardio, abs, calves, the session done because we have a crazy busy day ahead of us and I don't think after the antics of today, I'm gonna wanna come to the gym later. So we're gonna do the whole thing pretty much now. And we're back at the Mecca of Redditch Elite Fitness. And I'm not really joking either. Like this kind of is the Mecca of Redditch. In comparison to some gyms like around Birmingham, yes, you have to drive 40 minutes all the way to Birmingham to go to like Ultimate Fitness or Emporium or any of those other bodybuilding gyms within like the center of the West Midlands. But Redditch doesn't really have a lot to offer other than Elite Fitness. So if I'm gonna be anywhere, I kind of prefer to be here. And in a few days on this side of the gym, they have added a mezzanine floor to the entire top half. You know the side where we hosted the deadlift meetup last summer? Let's go. That side now has a second floor. So back is gonna be upstairs, I'm pretty sure, and then legs is gonna be downstairs. But we can't train legs or back yet, so today is gonna to be chest. With that being said, all you gotta do now is sit back, relax, eat a meal prep, enjoy some popcorn or something, especially you, Johnny. I know you've been skipping meals today. Get that food out, chop that chicken, season it well, and enjoy this video. Episode eight of Hard Body Shredding. I'll see you in the gym. Calves are done. I know it's gonna be training chest, but I have to do calves three times a week at least. I'll do them on like both my leg days, and then I'll just pick a random day, like a chest, shoulders, or back, to do the other one. And then I'll be doing abs three times a week too. It's just like a rule of thumb on prep for me right now is abs and calves three times a week, no matter what. So I'm pretty glad that that was a freaking sick carb workout. But now we're gonna start an incline dumbbell press to kick off chest. Let's get warmed up with the thirties. <clears throat> Forty seven point five kilos. I'm not sure what we're gonna work up to. The first set was ten reps. I'll be doing eight to six to try to get up to a top set. I'm gonna fill these out, hit six, might go fifty-five. I'm gonna see how this feels. <laughs> So there's a section on this side of the gym called the Forgotten Dumbbells, and they're just like in the corner. And they're really old. There's no way that they weigh the same even though they say they do. We're gonna try do the 57.5s for a few reps. So far, the only body part I've noticed lose a little bit of strength is my legs slightly. But my chest and back and shoulders all still feel there. If anything, my arms are getting like stronger, but my legs are getting a little bit weaker. I was trying to do like Bulgarian split squats the other day while this leg side was closed, and it was a struggle. Nevertheless, we got it done, and we're gonna try and see many reps you can get with the 57.5 kilograms. <coughs> Easy. <coughs> You know what? I'm not gonna waste my top set on these because I know I can do a lot more. 67.5, why the fuck not? 148.8, one pound. I've never done these before to be fair. 140 is the current PR, so. All right, I didn't even bring any fucking wrist straps or elbow sleeves or nothing. Rookie. Top drive. All right, I got it. <laughs> was that six or was that five? Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, there we go, new PR. This is one of my favorites at this gym. There's something about it. If you put the seat low, it's a decline press, but the handles come in really close together. And if you press your, like, the palms of your hands inwards and get a good squeeze at a decent amount of weight, this one is quality. Oh, no, we can do more than this. Oh. 
Moving on to a chest fly. Panata super middle chest fly. It's like even more powerful than if you were doing just like flat dumbbell flies. Purely because it feels like it's pulling you out in just like the perfect way. I, well, maybe it's just like my biomechanics just work perfectly for this machine. <laughs> That's pretty good. Posing. That's it, exactly. Side chest, whichever side, favorite side. What's your favorite classic pose? Classic pose? Yeah. That does indeed. That's what he's doing behind you. back at the house all I need to do now is three things breakfast shower and wake Stu up so we can get ready for what the plan for today is the Arnold Classic Expo I can't freaking wait to say I'm excited it would be a massive understatement so we're gonna get all this stuff done and then head out to head to the Expo it's a little bit later than we would have liked but we're off to the Arnold Expo it's currently about 11 30 so we're gonna get there at 12 but honestly when you're at the Expo for five hours straight it usually starts to cool down around five o'clock you are absolutely Gassed. I'm excited to be there, excited to see everyone. It's been two years since the last Arnold that I went to. It's gonna be freaking sick. It's just super lucky because my dad literally lives in Birmingham, which is about 25 minutes away from the NEC. So we couldn't be in a better location. In the back of the car, it's already absolutely filthy. We have some stuff. We're gonna be shooting the two new belts at a gym tomorrow. We've got the pink and the tan bodybuilding belts. And then we did grab a few pieces of hard body stuff from the warehouse just to give away to some random people that we see at the expo wearing or using like something to do with hard body so we can give them something else. Just as a quick thank you from myself and the brand for supporting. You know, I may spend some time slating this car, but it's actually not that bad. Like, it drives very smooth. Even though my dad literally almost crashed it yesterday. I was like, Dad, it's a rental, and he decides to speed down the highway, and somebody was pulling out, and it was almost a bad situation. We survived, and we live to tell the tale. I'm gonna head right there, pick up a monster on the way, and we'll be good to go. It took about 10 minutes to find parking, but the shuttle bus is gonna take us right to the entrance because all the parking lots that were relatively close have all been taken up. It's what you get when you're late. People are lining up and we'll be in there relatively shortly. I was of the impression that the bodybuilding show in the evening time, Classic was gonna be on today, but it was actually on yesterday and Wesley Visser took the win again for the second time, which means Seabum, when it comes to Wesley Visser, is shitting himself right now. Now to find where we get our tickets printed off. We tried to walk in, but they were like 3A. Excuse me, 3A. We were not welcome where we tried to enter, so we need to try and find where we can get our tickets actually like printed off in like a wristband. Those are some serious peaks. I got my ticket. Wristbands are on. This place is absolutely freaking massive. We're gonna walk around, try to find some people that we know, build a bit of a squad. This place is freaking massive. There's donut stands, there's meal prep stands, there's all these things going on that we can't eat. Stu's actually carrying my meals for me in his bag, which is really kind of him. I've got the equipment in my bag. So many freaking people. I've already met a bunch of people, had to whip the jacket up because it's so freaking hot in here. But I think we found some of the some of the hard body boys. How you doing bro? Yes, I'm gonna fucking meet you man. How you doing man? Good speed. We got the boys. It's a beautiful place to see, I'll tell you that. Hey. Everybody stand here next year. We've got a little squad together migrated like in the middle of the expo people have been coming up We've been meeting everyone so thank you so much if you came to say hi Like it's crazy how like people say like, you know They appreciate the time meeting you but like they don't understand like how much I appreciate it because like coming here and putting like faces to like views It like means so much to me to like see this and everything I feel like coming here like I realize I need to commit to what I love doing the most which is sharing the journey and vlogging and all that sort of stuff Let's go! Down! You got it! Up! Come on, bro! Ah, we got a win! Yeah. 
There we go, mate. Well, so this probably isn't the smartest thing to do, but we're gonna see who has the strongest punch. They got the punch machine, so we're gonna give it a go. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I go first. Uh, Set the tone, bro. That was terrible. That was terrible. Bro, what the fuck was that? Oh, I hit the fucking gate. You can gate. never defend me. I hit the gate. Hey. At least we got more than six. Hey. What did you get? Like 400? Oh, oh it's unfortunate, oh, mate. Oh, <laughs> that was close to Stu's score. <laughs> yeah, it was standing there, bro. Score, oh, you got the same score, bro. I'll oh, shut up. You can do over 500. We've got all your, all your equipment, that's all that Bears, we've got. Beds, knee sleeves, everything. we got something to give you. Right, so we've got the first person with someone with hard body, so... And they're dropping on the 21st. I actually needed some, to be honest. Really yeah, because I lost it. mine. They're good quality as well, yeah. yeah. Yes, I have your belt. <laughs> Best gym equipment I have ever used in my entire life. Oh, the anime is as well. There you go. Infamous cookbook. If you can find something you do that you don't find is work and do that for the rest of your life, you have to be. Greg do sets on the stage. So they do like big interviews for like some guest appearances and stuff. And it's pretty funny to see Greg up there. They have a flashback. You're interviewing me now? When was the first time we spoke? Was I a fan or something? This is like New York. I specifically remember a time. It was when I first went to Canada. We were DMing on Instagram. I tried to send you some hard body at some point. Oh, we didn't still have it. Coming from such like humble beginnings, it's the literally the definition of the proof that if you are relentless and you don't fucking ever quit. I always tell people, I say, the only reason you'll fail is because you quit. Your initial goal to sell to trying to achieve, you're never gonna find out what that's gonna look like unless you travel far enough to get there. So literally, appreciate it's it. It's inspiring to me as well. It's amazing. We're trying, baby. We're doing our best. We're trying. You're now engaged. So I congrats. am engaged. Thank you, bro. Pro show is like top five. Okay. If you get top five in your first pro show, that's super hard to get. But yeah. if you win, yeah. bro, we're well in Your physique's looking good. Thank and you. it's getting better and better each year that I watch you. Good, thank you very much. Yeah, bro. Nice cool. you. What's up, baby, baby? We're back. Old school expo feels. That's it. We need the gang here. I'll feed. Hopefully they'll come next year. How you doing, bro? Hard body move. Hard body move. Oh, I'm staying at my dad's. It's 20 minutes away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah, real close. Yeah. One of my favorite things about coming to expos and stuff, you get to see people you've known for so many years. Yeah. And it's like no time passed. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Like, there's a few guys in the industry, like yourself, Christian, Max, that unfortunately I only get to see like maybe two, three, four times at most per year. Nothing ever changes. No. It's the exact same. You just pick up where you left off and the reason for that is because they're all successful guys who got so much going on so it's like they don't have time to be constantly you know going on trips when you meet people that do the same thing to the level of like your lives are literally the same they understand you connect on a good level yeah i mean we've all got each other's secrets so you take them to the grave it creates a bond <laughs> these walls have eyes <laughs> we are back at dad's we've had a bit of a journey since the expo because everyone went to nando's i luckily had a massive tupperware of chicken and rice it was actually two meals in one so after we were just gas from the expo headed to Nando's and everyone's enjoying their fino pitters and whatever else and I just chowed down on a massive I was in a carb coma to be honest after it which is kind of nice because it was hectic at the expo we met so many freaking people it's so nice to see so many faces almost like people you see online to like a real face in person and get to know that person and it was so 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 good but we're back now we've got two more meal sweets so I'm gonna prep some chicken right now because I've already eaten all my rice today and then oats and work this evening you're a big guy <laughs> Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Right, so I made my chicken, had that. Unfortunately, like I said, I had no rice. It's kind of nice to just have chicken and sauce. I wasn't really in the mood to eat anyway, but it means we smashed the protein for the day, especially with the protein in the oats. And this is the final meal. After an amazing day, what an incredible experience. Like, I do want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much if you came up and said what's up, if you brought a piece of hard body equipment for me to sign, meant the freaking world. I'm so glad that I took pieces in the bag to give to people. There were so many more people than I had the opportunity to give stuff to because I only had like a few pieces to give, but there were so 
many people that come up there were wearing it, signing their belts, all that stuff. It was a crazy experience. And also meeting people in the industry that do the same thing as me, that one, I haven't seen for years because I haven't been to America for so many years and obviously like going to Houston, Texas with our fleet, meeting so many people that are with our fleet that are now with like other brands and different stuff. It was like so good to just like see old friends, old faces and just like see the progression of like how they're progressing in life, what I'm doing in life now and just all these things coming together. So thank you for coming up. Thank you for making this an incredible day. That is gonna be it from me. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, turn on post notifications, subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps the channel grow. Thank you again for an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.